Okay daw. Ako, puto ng ulo nito sa video cream. Tayo natin. Okay na to. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. And welcome to our webinar. This afternoon, brought to you by East Asia Veterinary Products Incorporated. I would like to start our discussion this afternoon by telling you that in the past webinars, we have already featured different aspects, particularly in pork production. We started with the item on biosecurity and disinfection, followed by our technologies and products in order to prevent and minimize stress that would greatly affect the health status of the animal and reflect on the profitability of our pork production also with uh, food animal producing animals like chickens. Also, we were able to discuss some aspects about phytochemical, phytonutrients, in particular the vertonic. And also we discussed supplements on vitamins, minerals, electrolytes in order to address stress factors and disease conditions in food animals just like pig, chicken, small ruminants. And in our last episode, we feature about the advantage of artificial dissemination as the very efficient and effective breeding system particularly in pigs. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Dr. Rol Encarnacion, Managing Director of East Asia Veterinary Products. Currently, I'm also the National Board of Director of the Philippine Veterinary Medical Association. Gusto ko lang po batiin po lahat ng mga nakamonitor, ang mga Participants sa ating webinar, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat throughout the country, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Ngayong hapong ito ay pinag-aralan naming tihandog sa inyo ang paksa tungkol sa anong uba ang mga iba't ibang uri ng karamdaman na may kinalaman sa sugat at particular sa pag-aalaga ng baboy. Ano ang mga iba't ibang sitwasyon o kondisyon na kinakailangan nating bantayan tignan at karampatang gamutin ang mga nagiging sugat ng ating alagang bago? In any pork production situation around the world, including our country in the Philippines, there are many different kinds of wounds or injury, physical injury at that, that would affect somehow and depending on the severity or the gravity of the wound, it would significantly affect the performance of our animals. Marahe pong iba't ibang klase ng sugat basis sa aking karanasan so may higit tatlong pong taon na pakikipag-ugnayan sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas tungkol sa pag-aalaga ng baboy, ang pinaka-common na makikita po natin ay dalawang bagay. Yung po gumawa po tayo ng sugat dahil may mga kailangan po tayong gawin, kamukha ng pagkakapon, lalo-lalo na sa mga kuleg, or castration and piglets, these are what we call surgical incision that brought about wound 
and what do we do in order to make it less bloody or hindi masyado madugo and how we can make the wound incision come to recovery and become normal again. Alam po ninyo, kaya nakapili rin namin paksa ngayon hapon ang tungkol sa sugat dahil ang kinaape, ang naapekto po nito yung balat ng baboy. Pag tinignan po natin, mahalaga ang balat sa ating alagang baboy because skin is of primary importance because this is the first line of defense in preventing a lot of diseases or physiological impairness or malfunction in the animal. Ang balat po, kinakailangan po panatiliing maganda, malinis, walang hiwa o walang sira o walang injury upang hindi magkaroon ng problema, lalo na ang mga sugat na malalaki ay eh, nagiging perwisyo sa maraming nag-aalaga ng baboy. Bukod sa pagkakapon, ang mga nakikita po natin sugat na kinakailangan inaasikaso natin mabuti o hinahanapan agad ng lunas, yung po tinatawag natin shoulder sore yung pong mga balikat ng ating alagang inahen o barako na nagkakaroon po ng malalalim na sugat sa balikat gawa ng paghiga o sadyang nagkakaidad ang baboy lalo ang inahen at barako na apektuhan po yung kanilang mga balat kaya po itong commonly observed areas of wound or injury yung pumbalikan. Sa piglet, panagkapunta tayo ng unang linggo, when we do castration in one week old piglet, we do surgical incision. The smaller we castrate the piglet, the smaller incision it would require. Therefore, the wound is smaller. So, therefore, recovery and healing is faster. Kaya po, pinapayo natin palagi hindi na po nagkakapon ngayon ang mga tatlo, apat o pagkawalay ng piglet. We normally do castration as early as one week of age in order that for the animal to remove their testicle, you would just be needing a small surgical incision. Palalabas yan ang bayag, we will take out the testicle and then remove it and then put some medication in it. Mamaya po, babangitin ko ang ating uh, produkto. Ito po ang pinakamabisang solusyon o gamot. Pangatlo pong sugat na palagi natin nakikita, lalo sa mga breeder animal, inahin, dumalaga, barako. We often see in gills, in sows, in boars, what we call as hoof injury. Normally cause by bacterial organism causing a condition called foot rot. Yung kung parang nasisira, nababakbak o nabibiyak ang kuko ng ating alagang tinahin, lalo-lalo na. Madalas na nabababad sa tubig, madalas na tumatama sa bakal. Pag nagkaroon ng kapirasong sugat, magkakaroon ng bacterial contamination particularly Staphylococcus or any other organism, that would cause a major or deep-seated injury or wound in the hoof of our breeder animals. So ang sugat po, pag nagkapun tayo, sadyang ginawa natin, yung pong mga sugat sa balikat ng ating mga matatandang inen o barako, minsan, pangatlo po yung foot rot, ang apat po nakikita nyo na ginawa din natin pagka nag-i-earnatch tayo ginugunting o ginugupit ang tenga upang markahan ng numero for identification purposes. Panlima po, pagkawalay ng piglet, minsan po nagkakagatan tenga at buntot. Tail biting or ear biting 
is a common injury in piglets, especially if they are placed in a crowded or a small space, not sufficiently enough or comfortable with the piglets. Ano pa ho ba ang mga sugat? Minsan po, by accident o trauma, doon po sa kulungan o kaya pagsampa sa mga bakod o kaya sa pintuan ng mga kulungan, doon po nagkakaroon ng sugat. Kung minsan po, dito po sa umbilical area, eh minsan po nagkakaroon po ng mga hiwa o sugat. In short, we would always have to take a closer look, find immediate remedy on how we can soon as possible prevent any small or big or deep-seated wound to get infection. Balikan po natin ang integumentary system ng ating baboy, yung pong balat. Sabi ko po, Ito po ang first line of defense sapagkat ito po ang pinakamalaking laman o organ. This is the largest tissues and organs of the animal. Karamihan po, palagi na lang nagkakaroon ng problema ng sugat kapag nagkaroon ng problema sa sustansya o nutrisyon. Nahapo o na-stress ang hayop, gumawa po tayo ng prosedyo na kinakailangan sugatan o maggawa ng hiwa. Pangapat, minsan po sa kulungan, minsan po sa paghiga ng baboy, minsan po aksidente o trauma nakakasugat po. Bakit po mahalaga na panatiliin natin ang integrity ng skin? Una, first line of defense, at meron po mga derivatives o accessory na kasama ng balat. Nandiyan na po ang malahibo o buhok, kuko, sungay sa so mga small ruminants o large ruminants. At meron po mga accessory pa na parte po yung sebaceous gland kung saan po napuproduce ng oil o langes ang balat o yung tetang natin sweat glands o nagpuproduce ng pawis. Ano po ba ang uh, kahalaga ng maganda at pinapanatili natin malinis sa balat sa ating alagang baboy? Protection po ito sa sobrang init at lamig. Mahalaga po na ang sensation po o ang pakiramdam ng baboy ay ating makikita rito. Ang balat po ay maraming nerve endings, skin. As part of the integumentary system, contains a lot of nerve endings. Kaya po pagka nakaramdam sila ng konting init o lamig, nararamdaman ang buong katawan kapag ito'y lumapit o dumapo sa balat. Ito rin po ang nagko-control ng evaporation upang hindi madehydrate ang hayop by releasing a lot of moisture and fluid or liquid coming from the animal's body. Ito rin pong balat ay nag store po ito ng lipid o protina at ito po ay bahagi sa proseso ng synthesis ng ibang sustansya katulad ng vitamin D. Hindi po ba, pag lumabas tayo sa araw, nakakakuha po tayo sa sunlight ng vitamins, kamukha ng vitamin D, upang mabigyan ng karagdagang proteksyon ng ating balat, nakakadagdag upang lumakas ang ating pangangatawan. Ito rin po ay mag magkakaroon po ng function pagdating sa absorption. Also, meron din po itong importance pagdating sa protection para hindi nga po mawala ang liquid sa katawan ng tao. Absorption, Heat and temperature regulation is one of the more, more important function ng ating balat. So kinakailangan ko, panatiliin natin malinis o maganda ang integridad ng ating balat.
balat o ang balat ng ating mga alagang hayop. Pag nagkaproblema po ang balat, dalawa po ang dahilan. Maaaring non-infectious o infectious. May infeksyon o wala at ito ay may infeksyon o karamdaman. Ano ang mga natural? Pagka po nabilad sa araw, namumula po ang ating alagang baboy. Kaminsan po, kinakailangan maglagay tayo ng kortina. Lalo yung mga buntis na baboy, hindi pa pwedeng naiinitan o naaarawan. Pangalawa po, yung po tinatawag natin infectious, ano ang mga cause? Dahil lang po ng pathogenic organism, bacteria. Meron pong fungal o yung mga tinatawag natin dermatomycosis. Meron din pong viral, ang cause. Halimbawa po, pox o yung pinaka bulutong o kaya meron po foot and mouth disease nakakaroon po ng vesicle yung swine vesicular disease nakakaroon po ng mga singa o pagputok ng balat o gilagid o lalamunan o bibig ganun. ano pa maring fungal yung po dermatomycosis nga po yun na isa meron po bakterya, lalo-lalo na kapag nagkaroon ng break o nagkaroon ng sugat sa balat. Anong nangyayari po pang karaniwan pag uh, nagkaroon ng sugat ang baboy? Meron pong tinatawag na wound healing process. Ito po ay magdudugo o makakaroon po ng hemostasis. Bakit? Makakaroon ng blood clot sa pamamagitan ng platelets. Kaya po kung normal at walang karamdaman ng ating baboy, kapag ito ay nakasugat, okay na po natin, sinugatan natin, sa loob ng dalawa tatlong araw, natutuyo, gumagaling. Bakit? Nakakaroon ng platelets, nakakaroon ng hemostasis, tumitigil ang pagdurugo. Pakarana ng araw, isa, dalawa, mamamaga. Inflammation is part of food healing. Ah, ang sugat pala, pagbago, dudugo, kapag tumigil ang pagdurugo, kinabukasang mamamaga, inflammation. Part po yun ng para papunta sa paggaling ang sugat. Because wound healing is a natural process when in wound or skin injury returns to its normal state lalo pag dumating ito na siya ay gumaling na. Nire-repair ng pusa, ng balat, ang sugat sa balat ng katawan ng baboy. Pangapat, maturation. Anong mangyari? Nagde-develop ng bagong tissue, ng bagong laman, blood vessel, nerves, at natatakpan ng langit o ng scalp ang sugat. Yun po ang complete na mangyayari pagdating sa wood healing. Nabanggit ko na po ano ang importansya, bakit mahalaga ang balat, ito pala ang first line of defense para yung mga mikrobyo na magagaling sa labas, ang unang haharang ay balat. Pag nakapasok nga minsan sa ibang parte ng balat, nakapasok, may mga buhok na yun naman ang mag screen ng mga mikrobyo o alikabok o anumang organismo na maaaring pumasok sa balat. So ano ang kahalagahan? Ito pala ang first line of defense. Ito ang pinakamalaking organ sa katawan ng baboy. At may particular function ito at meron din pong proseso kung ito'y masugatan, kusa po itong gagaling, pero pag ito'y na-infection, nahihirapan po gumaling. Okay? Ngayon po, napanggit namin yung aming teknolo teknolohiya o produkto, ang pangalan Topicure. Topicure, primarily, It's a natural spray for comprehensive topical cure and care. Sabi nga namin palagi, this is an all natural cure aerosol spray. Ano po ba ang laman nito? In the new era of phytochemicals, in the technology of health and wellness in preventing 
stress and diseases or disruption of the normal activity or damage or injury in the skin or disruption in the continuity of the integrity of the skin, meron po tayo dapat igamot dyan. Presenting again this afternoon, topic you. This is an all natural topical wound spray for complete topical cure and care. Bakit po? This product is a polyherbal aerosol spray that contains four important ingredients. Meron po itong tinatawag nating curcumin, meron po itong tinatawag nating pine oil, meron po itong cedrus deodora oil, meron din po itong eucalyptus oil. Pinus oil or pine oil is the fourth component. Ano po ang kahalaga nitong mga produkto ito? Una, yung pine oil that goes with the formulation of Topicure is primarily the one responsible for anti-magot activity of the spray. Alam po ninyo, Lahat ng sugat, nag-aanyaya na madapuan ng langaw. All kinds of wounds have the tendency to attract fly. And once fly goes in contact directly to an open wound, more likely, if it stays long, it will lay eggs and hatch, forming what we call maggots. These maggots will then prevent or delay the natural healing process, delay the recovery to complete healing of the wound. Therefore, you need a material or a treatment that would stop maggots from delaying the healing process. Pangalawa po naman ito, Cedrus deodola oil. After pine oil for anti-magot, deodorus. Cedrus deodola oil. This is an oil that is responsible for the fly repellent action of the oil. So, if you are treating a wound o may ginagamot kayo yung sugat, malalim o mababaw, Spray nyo ng isa. Pag malalim o malaki, dalawa. Per spray, you will be applying 0.3 ml only. So kung dalawang spray, 0.6 ml. Okay? The third component is what we call curcumin oil. This will prevent pain after the injury or wound, and it would minimize swelling to promote faster wound healing. Ang sugat pala, kung kang nabangit ko, nabiyak yung balat, nagkaroon ng langaw, na infeksyon, hindi natin pinu pinapansin, tumatagal ang iba't ibang langaw, hanggang sa mga itlog, yung itlog, pag napisa, magpuproduce ng maglot. Meron po dyan, Ang sugat, dadapuan pa ng fungal organism. Magkakaroon po ng karagdagang problema, lalo kung tatagal ang paggalit. Fly, bacteria, maggot, fungi are all contributory, contributory factors to delayed wound healing. Ang pang-apat po, pinaka-importante, eucalyptus oil. So, ang eucalyptus oil, it contains the necessary antibacterial component in order na pag nagkaroon ng fly, dumapo sa sugat, 
ang lahat po ng langaw may daladalang bakterya, may infeksyon. Magkakaroon ng proliferation ng bakterya na napakabilis. Pag-spray po ninyo ng Topicure, mawawala o magkakaroon ng bactericidal activity o papakit ang bacterial organism na nag-contaminate sa sulat. Ang pinakamahalaga pang isa at ang pagkakaiba ng Topicure sa lahat ng iba't iba klaseng wound spray, ang kulay po nito dilaw. Dahil po sa laman nitong curcumin oil o yung tinatag natin sa Tagalog na luyang dilaw. It has antifungal. Also, it will prevent pain and swelling. It will also give a particular distinct color marking or stain para kung makikita nyo na may kulay dilaw, na-sprayan na po ang mga lugar na yun o na-applyan na ng topic yun. Yun po ang pinakamahalaga na gusto ko i-share sa inyo ngayong nga po ito. Ano ang summary? Mahalaga na maproteksyon na natin maiwasang makasugat. Kigawa natin by surgical incision para nagkakapon o iba pang procedure, kamukha ng ear notching, tail, uh, tail ducking o pagputo ng butot, paglalagay ng mga uh, ear tag or whatever. Minsan po, yung pag dininis ng puso at pagtatanggal ng puso. Kapag lumaki ang sugat, malaki o maliit, dinadapuan ng langaw, Pag matagal na nandun ang langaw, mangingitog, magiging magot, magpapadili ng wound healing. Magkakaroon ng bacterial contamination, magkakaroon ng infection, magpapatagal ulit sa wound healing. Pangapat, pag nagkaroon po ng fungal organism, magkakaroon po ng dermatomycosis, lalo na naman po magtatagal ang paggaling ng sugat. Yun po ang mga dapat natin iwasan. So, alam na natin ang kahalaga ng balat, function nito, anong mga kadailanan na sumat, anong madalas natin nakikita, paano natin ito gagamitin. Alam po ninyo, palagi ko sinasabi sa, sinasabi sa animal health prevention or disease control and treatment. Ang baboy po ang isang uri na hayop na pang nagkaroon ng konting karamdaman, lalo na ang sugat, Hindi po pwedeng mamaya-mamaya o bukas-bukas. Ora mismo, prompt treatment and addressing the problem of wound, especially infected wound, can fasten or expedite or hasten the wound healing process of any kind of injury or wound. Lahat ng sugat, madaling bumagaling, Kung ito ay hindi ma-infeksyon, agaran at sufficienting nagagamot, pangatlo ay natatanggal natin ang iba't ibang bakterya, hindi na padapuan ng langang o magkakaroon ng magot o magkakaroon ng punjay at pati pamamaga ng sugat ay madaling mawawala upang makarecover kagad ng new tissue and skin development dun po sa particular Sugat. Ngayong hapon, maaari po kaming mag alok sa inyo ng aming produkto. 75 ml. Alam po ninyo, pag-spray nyo ng isa, 0.3 ml, kaya yung 75 ml will be able to give you 250 sprays and application. Ang presyo po nito, 280 pesos per canister. Maring mahal kumpara sa iba, pero sasabihin ko sa inyo ang pagkakaiba. Una, aerosol spray po ito. Pag in-spray nyo, 0.3 ml lamang. Alam nyo kagandahan sa aerosol, hindi po, napansin nyo, pagka when you go to a car wash, when you have your vehicle clean in a car wash, it uses power sprayer. Most of it 
are air and just very few little no water or liquid. Same is true with aerosol spray. It gives you a lot of power because of the aerosol spray and it will stick at the decade in the wood and it will not drop off or sa Tagalog hindi tutulo. Subukan nyo po yung mga ibang wound spray, lalo yung alcohol base or gesium violet or whatever antibiotic. When you spray kulay violet, tutulo pa dito. Instead of putting all the wound spray or medication you apply sticking into the wound or injury, it will some of it will just go down. Why? Because other wound spray contains water, alcohol, gesium violet, and not aerosol preparation wherein the concentration of the ingredient or activity of the content of the aerosol wound spray goes directly and stays in the wound or injury. You po pagkakain it will come out cheaper and economical. It will come out cheaper and economical. Even if you compare it into a bigger packaging of wound spray, if it contains alcohol and water, some of it will just go down and it will not have any efficacy or effectiveness in the wound. While with topic you, one she spray, one, two is enough. 0.3 plus 0.3, 0.6 ml, you covered the entire wound, especially if it's a small wound only. Kung malit na sugat lang, hindi deep-seated o malalim ang sugat o walang infection, isa lang would be enough. Pagka medyo malalim ang sugat, dalawa, maximum three sprays. So, it will give you effective directly applied into the injury or into the wound 250 sprays per canister of topicure and we are selling it at 280 pesos. Yung po mga nakikinig online, mga nakamonitor, pwede po kayo mag online question now. Meron pa kayong gustong klaruhin o itanong kung hindi kayo naliwanagan. Pwede rin po kayo actually bumili na topic yun. Just send us a message online. We can provide you with topic. We will now be opening the floor kung may katanong nga po kayo. So, samantalin ko na ang pagkakataon. Salamatan yung ating mga pig mates dyan sa pig academy. More than 52,000 members. Yung pong mga ka-chat natin dyan sa Mindanao. Meron po kami chat group ng mga iba't ibang nag-aalaga ng bago sa buong Mindanao. Ang aming po mga butihin at pasisipag magagaling na account executives ng King Vet of East Asia Vet. Yung ating po mga kaportya, yung ating mga technical sales representatives sa buong Pilipinas. Lockdown ngayon, stay at home, stay safe, but keep in touch with our customers and prospects. Lalo na yung mga suki natin, baka may mga nangangailangan po ng ating produkto, lalo-lalo na ng topic yun please contact them and say hi and uh, sana nasa mabuting kalagayan sila lahat. Also, we would like to take this opportunity to say thanks sa aming digital marketing manager, Sir Ian Nacenza. Thank you very much of our Indian group of companies. Yung pong ating uh, corporate marketing department no? sa panguna ni Ms. M. Berbano, ang aming uh, brand manager for East Asia Vet, Sir Sani Bitangkor, and assistant brand Kim Rivera. Sa nga lang po ng pamunuan ng East Asia Veterinary Products, in behalf of the management and team of our ideal group of companies headed by our Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Eulalio Ayong Lorenzo, and our uh, big boss, COO, Chief Operating Officer, Sir Manny Berbano. Nagpapasalamat po kami at binigay nyo ang hapong ito 
upang makapakinig sa aming webinar. Kamukha ng mga nababangit namin, this will be a regular feature of our webinars, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, if there are any questions, we will now start answering them for everybody's additional information or clarification. Sir Sunny, go ahead. Okay, Doc. Um, first question po, kung sa manok na may sugat sa gilid ng mata, say po bang spray yan, Topicure? The question is, if we're going to use Topicure in chickens to be sprayed near the eyes, is it safe? Opo. Definitely, it is safe. And because of the 100% natural product for component ingredients that are all plant-based extracts or phytochemicals, it is safe to be used even directly in mouth, nose, or uh, in the open wound or castrated uh, wound. By the way, I forgot to mention, other than pigs, you can use it in different farm animals just like small ruminants, sheep and goat, large ruminant like carabao and cattle, horses, chickens, for game fowl, even for racing pigeon, even for quail or duck. All farm animals, even domestic animals just like pets, dogs, you can use it. Topicure being a natural spray for comprehensive topical cure and care, it is safe for application in different kinds of animals. Yes, sir. Next question, Doc. May side effect or harmful effect po ba ang topicure kapag nakain o nadilaan ng baboy o kahit anong hayo? Is there any toxic effect or side effect if accidentally topicure was ingested or uh, placed inside the mouth. I have to tell you personally my experience in a veterinary clinic that my son is working on. There are injury inside the mouth of dog even in the mouth of pigs, we use topicure. We were confidently using it because knowing the content doesn't contain any chemical or synthetic ingredient in it. It is all natural, 100%. It is safe. Even though you ingest, o kahit umainom, makain, o malulun, wala pong problema. That is one big advantage of Topicure. Other than when you spray, it will not drop off or mawawala sa sugat. Everything, every application you give will stick to the wound or injury. Okay. Next question, Doc. Uh, ano po ba ang pinakaiba ng Topicure sa mga wound spray na nasa market, especially yung Jensen Violet? Okay. One, uh, there are already a lot of wound spray in the market. Some composed of antibiotic with gentian violet and alcohol and water. Some have the aluminum silver spray. Some are povidone iodine. And what is the main difference? Primarily with gentian violet. Gentian violet can dry the wound or injury, matutuyo ang sugat. Pero is that enough to complete the healing process? Maring kulang po. Pangatlo, may mga scientific findings, technical literatures pointing out that gentian violet is carcinogenic or may develop cancer not only in animals, but at times, to the person regularly using it. If you are commonly or regularly using it as part of your work and job, that might be a problem in the future. Again, 
ours is different from the many and the rest. Different color because of curcumin, it comes in yellow. Two, it doesn't have any water and alcohol. Therefore, it is not irritating to the skin. Nagamit ko na ko ito sa sugat ko. Minsan, nasugatan ako sa paa. Wala po ako naramdaman. Siyempre po, pag-spray, yung unang uh, dapo ng topic yun, parang medyo malamig. Parang yun lang mararamdaman mo. Pero yung mga ngate, kaya po yung ibang wound spray, pag binigay nyo sa baboy, may sugat sa balikat o sa paa o sa buntot, ikakaskas sila sa simento para kasi na i-irritate o siguro mahapde, kaya po ganun na reaksyon ng baboy. Ganun po kasi pang topic. Next doc, um, question is, Safe po ba ito sa internal wounds? Opo. Uh, the question is, this safe for internal wounds? I know of many small animal practitioners already using this. Personal experience again in a veterinary clinic. My son and I opened a big tumor in the belly area of a golden retriever, we are primarily suspecting it to be a cancerous growth. But we were forced to debride and clean the tumor because it has an open wound. What we did, we slated the animal and then we put a small incision, debride or clean. The tumor, we did not do resection or removal completely. What we did was a topical treatment, removing all the dirt, taking out those tissues that were already considered as non-viable. Then we cleaned it with saline solution. And then finally, we sprayed the open wound of the tumor with topic you know what after one week we dispensed topic you to the owner told them to clean it every day once or twice a day after one week the tumor became smaller and the wound the open wound became dry and clean so kahit na na spray namin sa loob Bago nilagyan ng konting suture at nilagyan ng drain, hindi po nakapekto na lumala ang sugat kung hindi nakatulog ito upang matuyo at gumaling ang sugat. Yes, sir. Next question, Doc. Sa putrat po ba ng baboy pwede yan? Very much. Ganito po ang gagawin ninyo. Lahat ng sugat ng baboy. The question is, is it good for putrat? Yes. Putrat is caused by bacterial organism. Primarily, Staphylococcus. Lahat po ng sugat, bago nyo gamitan ng topic yun, clean the wound or the injury very well. You can use water and soap. You can use povidon iodine as antiseptic or cleaning material. And then, when it's a little bit dried, spray one or two. That's enough. Always keep in mind, wound heals faster if you clean it and treat it as often as needed. Okay? Sir Sani, next question. Uh, ano po yung component ng topic cure na nagtataboy ng langaw? Opo. Ang tawag po doon, Cedrus Deodora Oil. They have four components, Cedrus Deodora, Eucalyptus, pine oil and curcumin. So, yun po, ulitin ko, yung pine oil, yun po ang mag sasagot sa problema ng magot brought about by fly infestation on the wood. Ngayon, para naman po, from the start, ang sugat, hindi madapuan na langaw, kailangan ng fry repellent, cedrus deodora oil, yun po ang naman itong pangalawa. You know, po, eucalyptus oil, the third component, that would be containing antimicrobial bactericidal upang mamatay ang bacteria 
dahil na infection ang sugat. Yun naman curcumin oil, it will make a yellow differentiating stain or marking. It will prevent pain and swelling. Yung pamamagang sobra at sakit ng malalim na sugat, especially if it is a deep seated wound o malalim na sugat, nakaka-delay, nakakabagar sa paggaling ng sugat. Yun po ang action ng ibang ibang apat na component ng topic. Okay, Doc. Um, bago po mag-spray ng topicor, ano po ba dapat gawin? Tama po. Gaya ng nabanggit ko, linisyong mabuti ang sugat bago nyo applyan ng topicor upang mas maging mabisa ito. Again, I reiterate, all and every wound that you would like to treat with topicor, whatever animal you like to use topicor, that is okay. Clean using water and salt or saline solution, povidone iodine. We, dis, we do not recommend alcohol because it is any irritating. Any antiseptic, soap and water, that's good. Clean it first before you apply so all the content of the topical wound spray will stay in the wound and because of the four important components of it, it will hasten or fasten the recovery of the wound or the injury. Ulitin ko po, uh, magpadala lang kayo ng message. If you want to try, we can send to you this afternoon our topic cure at 280 pesos per canister. Okay, no? okay. Actually, meron tayo dito, uh, masugid yes. na taga-subaybay natin to, Doc. Binanggit niya lang Maria Leti Campos po. Ay, oo, oh, Ma'am uh, Leti Campos. Oh, good afternoon, Ma'am. Nababanguhan ako dyan sa topic here na yan. Gamit ko yun sa katikati ng aking mga alaga. Tama po. Maganda po. Actually, when you spray this, ganitong enclosed room, it will uh, smell different and you would like the smell because of the pine oil combined with the curcumin. Okay po. Uh, may two question, tatlong tatlong tayo Sige. dito na non-related sa topic. Opo. Una, Doc, galing kay Mark Pulikit from Cebu. Paano po may iwasan ng pagtatayin ng piglet? Opo. Sa taga Cebu po, ano? Ang question po sa akin bilang veterinaryo, paano may iwasan ang pagtatayin ng piglet? Sir, ito po. Normally, from day old, pagkapanak ng piglet hanggang iwalay ng 30 days, anytime during this period, Yan po ang common age ng mataas ang insidensya ng pagtatay. Maraming reason, iron deficiency, lalamigan, hindi nyo nalagyan ng init o lighting o heating system. Pangatlo, bacteria, marumi ang parawing crate, hindi nyo na-disinfect bago ng anak ang inahin. Gusto nyo gamutin, ganito po. Bigyan nyo po ng aming produkto for case. So, totoo lang po, hindi pa nagtatae, kung regular nyo nakikita yan sa inyong mga piglet, gawin nyo ng para prevention. 3 days, 4 days, pag kumiinom na ng tubig ang piglet, 1 sachet containing 5 grams of pork ace containing colistin amoxicin with butyric acid and electrolyte, kanaw nyo po sa isang galon tubig, kung 10, 14 ang piglet nyo, lahat po sila iinom. Ang tayo nyo po nang maubos, Huwag niyong tapon, huwag niyong palitan ang tenyo maubos at saka niyo lagyan ng booster fee. Ganun po. Basta sa pagtatae, huwag niyong pabayaang mainita, uh, mal malamigan. Kailangan lagi may heating system. Kapag marumi ang parawing crate o kaya may bacterial infection, gamutin niyo kagad. Unang araw pa lang na merong pagtatae, gamutin niyo na ng four Next question. Next question, Doc. Um, galing kay... KL Genetics, bakit nawawala ng gatas ang inahin o humihina ang gatas? Humihina po ang gatas, isa po yan sa pangkaraniwang nakikita pag ang baboy na nabubuntis ay kulang sa patoka o feeds o sustansya. Pangalawa, maaari po hindi pa nanganganak o pagkapanganak nakakaroon ng infeksyon sa mammary system or mastitis, metritis agalaxia. Pangatlo po, may calcium deficiency or mineral deficiency, sometimes vitamins or protein, 
Kaya kinakailangan po, ako na nagre-recommenda, makinig po kayo sa aking papayo, kapag nagbubuntis ang baboy, gestation, ration, upang kompleto sa sustansya, isang linggo, sampung araw bago manganak, lactation, upang ma-stimulate ang milk letdown o ang paglabas ng gata. Okay, Doc. Last question is, pwede po bang i-deliver yan all the way from Surigao po kay Jasmine Balutan? Hi, Ma'am Jasmine. Good afternoon. Yes, yung kung pwede kami, alam po ninyo, ang topic here is available nationwide. Meron po kami tinatawag na key account, dealer, business partners from Apari to Holo. Basta po may makita kayong malaking poultry supply o agrobet supply na malapit sa inyo, just go in there and ask for topic cure. Mas malamang po na meron po kayong makikita. Meron po kaming mga business partner o customer sa Surigao, pero ibigay niyo po online ang inyong pangalan, complete address, telephone number. Our technical sales representative sa Mindanao will give you a visit or will give you a call. Dahil naka-lockdown po ngayon, baka pwede namin kayo patawagan. Iwanan po ninyo ang contact number niyo at pangalan. We will respond to you immediately this afternoon, no later tomorrow morning. Apo, maraming salamat po. Sa pagtatapos po, magandang hapon. Natutuwa po kami na nandyan na naman kayo, mga kaportyang, para po sa aming webinar ngayong hapon. Napakaganda po ng diskusyong ibinigay ko sa inyo. Panatiliin, maganda ang balat ng ating baboy, ang ating mga farm animals. Huwag niyo pong patagalin na sugat. Immediately, gamutin po ninyo upang hindi ito lumala sapagkat ang naiimpeksyon sugat, gawa ng ito ay nada po ng langaw, mas matatagal ang paggalit. Mahalaga po na huwag nang lumala ang sugat, gamutin natin please try our topic cure. You can get it with many of our business partners, dealers, and key accounts. You can easily call us or send a message to us. If you're interested, we will provide you topic cure. Sa nga po ng pamunuan at lahat ng bubuo ng East Asia Veterinary, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Binabati po namin ang aming mga regular audience and closely monitoring our webinars. Abangan niyo po kami sa darating na Merkules. May mga karagdagan po kami ipakikita tungkol sa topic yun at magbibigay po kami ng mga testimonya ng maraming gumagamit ng topic yun upang makita po ninyo kung saan iba't ibang matatagumpay na pinaggagamitan ng topic yun. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Until our next webinar. Again, I'm Dr. Rolly Encarnacion saying good afternoon, stay safe, stay home, God bless you, and may God bless our Philippine hug industry and our East Asia Veterinary Products Incorporated. Thank you.